And now to another one of your questions. This one comes from Leslie and she says, I keep on getting these grey floaty things in front of my eye. I don't know what they are and I don't know whether to be worried about them. Well, Leslie, it sounds as if you may have what are called floaters. But just to be sure and to find out more, we went to a leading ophthalmologist, Dr Ian Dunlop. They're little accretions of protein in the gel that's inside your eye. It sits in there somewhat like a, a yolk in an egg. And what causes them? Well, age, <laughs> the passage of time. Um, when, you, when we're born, the, the gel sits there as a scaffold to build the eye upon. And then about midway through life, it starts to break up and liquefy. And by the time you're 90, it's all gone, replaced with the normal fluid within the eye. And so there's a middle area where it starts to break up and condense and move about. And it happens a little bit earlier in short-sighted people who have bigger eyeballs and a little bit earlier in people who've had an accident or a blow to the eye. And when should you worry about them? When they suddenly change. Do do this one. It's very normal to have floaters and you see them particularly against a bright background because they throw a shadow. But if they suddenly change, if the volume or the intensity of the floaters change, it means there's been some change in the vitreous. Either that it has collapsed or it has had a blood squirted into it. And these are signs that you should look for associated pathology around the inside of the eye and in particular for any sign of a tear or traction on the retina. So tell me what are the warning signs that people should look for where you really do need to go and see a doctor about your eye? A sudden change or increase in the number of floaters. The second one is a persistent and particular flashing of light in the periphery of your vision. And the third one is a black area in part of your vision on the periphery that appears to get larger. And those are all signs of a detached retina? Those are signs of the vitreous uh, interacting with the retina and threatening the retina with a tear and then a possible retinal detachment which is sight threatening without surgery. The important thing is to look in the periphery of the retina and to examine the nature of the vitreous and you shouldn't be fobbed off with someone who just looks at you with the handheld ophthalmoscope which is very good for looking at straight at the back of the eye but it's no good for looking around the sides. And the real um, concern with this is the sides of the eye. So you do need to see an eye professional with the right equipment.